Garden of the Sea is a farming life simulation VR game developed by Neat Corporation. This game brings farming and exploration to life as you sow and water seeds, interact with the friendly wildlife and travel among the islands in your very own boat. Garden of the Sea is a very simple game with no story and only a small handful of characters. There are three main elements that make up this game, exploration, building structures on the main island including your very own home, and farming. Starting on a small isolated section, you'll learn the basics of farming and the controls before you move to the main area where you'll have your crafting stations and a small plot of land to begin building your own home. From this point, exploration is key as you explore this island you now call home, finding structures that need to be built, including some that give you access to previously inaccessible areas, although much of this will require you to explore distant islands to collect the required resources. One of the first things you'll find and complete will be to build your very own boat which will allow you to set sail and explore all of the islands you'll have seen far off in the distance. These islands each have a puzzle for you to solve, new materials and crops to collect, and crafting recipes to find. Back on the main island you'll bring back new crops that you can craft into seeds and sow. You'll do this by tilling the ground, scattering seeds and watering your crops until they mature where you can then harvest them. New crops mean you can craft new things such as decorations and furniture, and you'll also be able to use these items in the recipes needed to build new structures across your island. One such structure to build is your home and the subsequent upgrades. You'll begin with nothing, build yourself a small humble home, and from there continue to upgrade it until you have quite an impressive house with several floors and balconies. You can craft decorations and furniture to fill your home with, However, recipes are quite limited, and the final home upgrade I found to be way too large to be able to fill it up with the furniture that's available. In addition to all of these things, you can go fishing, which as my first VR fishing experience I found very enjoyable, and you can also befriend the local animals, and once you build them a home, they'll reward you with some produce, where they'll come waddling up to you to offer items, which is very cute. There is also a little shop found on the main island where you can sell produce and buy some prints to customise your furniture and you can also purchase some other little bits and pieces. Garden of the Sea presents itself as a very wholesome game with a bright colourful world filled with adorable animals and beautiful scenery. The islands you'll travel to each have their own theme from forests, snowy hills and eerie giant mushroom lands. Musical sound effects alert you to when your crops have grown and the local wildlife make cute chirps and other sounds as you feed and pet them. These little sound effects along with many others make for a very cute and wholesome experience. With no bugs, glitches or lag, Garden of the Sea offers an excellent gameplay experience. The inventory system is very conveniently located and easy to use and recipes can be stored in your home but are also found in a journal for easy access along with other collectibles. The game can be played standing or seated with a variety of controls that can be customised to change movement and turning speed. Players can move with both a teleport system and walking motion as well, meaning players who experience motion sickness have quite an array of choices to make it a more comfortable experience. I myself often get a little bit of motion sickness in VR games and found this game to be very comfortable for the most part, minus the boat driving. Overall, Garden of the Sea is a very relaxing, cozy and endearing game. With simple controls and gameplay mechanics, it's very easy to pick up and comfortable to play. Fans of a relaxing farming game experience will really enjoy this game with no quests and no rush, just exploring and farming at your own pace. If this game sounds like something you'd enjoy, then I highly recommend picking this one up. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like or comment if this review has helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!